Shout out to Nuclear Day, y'all. Yeah. We're obsessed videos in the building. We're back and we're in. This is not a nuclear and sets videos. We are there. We're going to do a little live show. We got a guest in the background here, too. She's trying to hide out a little bit, but she's going to go ahead and hide out. Hi. You can go ahead and hide Hi. out. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So, let's start. Oh, yeah. You told me, you told me, Naughty, that. Oh, wait a second. I got to put this out there for uh, Facebook Live or listeners. We're going audio on Facebook Live. This is the disclaimer. Anything I say, anything I do, along with my uh, uh, co-host there. Uh, what's your name again? Seth's Seth videos. videos. And uh, the guest here, what's your name again? Uh, Now, that was his disclaimer. This is the Seth's video show. We're doing a double taping right now. This is my disclaimer. Fuck you. If you don't like what I'm saying, change the fucking channel. Fuck you. Okay? This is for grown-up people that know how to have a little fun. We're going to make some jokes. You can make jokes back, comment back, whatever. Make jokes. We're not hunting each other down for no kill or nothing like that. We some regular people just going to talk some shit about some shit. Okay? Now that's you know on Naughty Show I'm a guest on his show he's a guest on my show so yes. I'll I'll do the little clean shit for him. We're here. But when it comes to my shit I'm gonna talk that shit, yeah, okay? So my listeners y'all gotta deal with that shit, all right? Yeah, but anyway um, <laughs> we said the first topic is gonna be oh spicy spice yo spice listen man okay wait a minute <clears throat> first of all I want to say I love you spice and um. That was a great fucking idea. Yeah, that song was nice. That was beautiful. That song was Your nice. The whole concept. All right, you got us with the pitching. You got us with the pitching. You got me. I'm not going to lie. I was straight up like, what the fuck is she doing? To rise clot, rot it, every blood clot, Jamaican slur you can imagine. I was saying, what the fuck is wrong with you, Spice? That's how I was at first. I was like that at first. Until recently. We just listened to the, the song, and the song is fire. I gotta admit, I was I was really vexed. Anybody else? Well, I ain't gonna lie. I had been seeing I had been seeing the image for that video all day. Yeah, got me on stuff. While I was floating online and looking for shows, ideas, and things like that, I, I kept seeing this picture, but I didn't click on it. I'm gonna be honest on what I ignore thought, it. huh? Ignore it. I ignored it. Well, let me tell you why I ignored it. We're in the the Me Too and the victim era right now. That's how I feel about it. And every time you see a room full of black women like that, they're usually hating on black men. I'm sorry, but they some kind of victim. They're hating on black men, or they're, they're the girls that went on dates on campuses and the guys felt them up. And I know it sounds kind of cold, but, you know, that's a whole show topic on why I feel like that about certain shit with that. But you think me? So when I saw the image as a picture, I thought it was something along that line. Honestly, that was my own prejudice. I'm keeping it 100, and I didn't click on it. It wasn't until just now when y'all just played it for me and I said, oh shit, that was Spice even? I didn't even realize that was Spice in the picture. Oh, so you I'm a Spice fan. Yeah, you see that still right there that's on the screen right now? That's yeah. the exact, like somebody must have turned it into a picture or something. So oh, that's wow. the exact picture that I was seeing all day online on different, different places. So I just didn't realize it was an actual song or something. I didn't realize it was Spice. Oh, I didn't see, read nothing around the it. The picture I see was her bleach out. But from it look funny, I can see that it looked like painted on or spray paint or something. Yeah. Because she have tattoo. They had the, the dark spice and then the light spice. The snow white spice. Yeah, I got the joke. Because it's um, <laughs> it's funny. It's funny because they had, next to each other. they had them next to each other. And the tattoo wasn't there. So I'm like, okay, when you bleach, at least your tattoo should shine. Mm. You should see it more. You know what I mean? Like cartel coloring book. Because Dancer, Dancer mentioned it to me. And asked me if I saw a spice or a bleached out. And she showed me the picture. And I said, I remember seeing something like that. But that can't be right because, remember, I just saw her. I just filmed her. And then she's telling me that the bleach don't work that fast. So I'm like, yeah, that's got to be something else then. I mean, but good trolling. Yo, super good trolling. Good trolling. Because even me say it could be injection. It can be a pill. It could be anything because you know she has money now, so she can't buy anything. But you you know what? As we're talking about it, listen to this interesting thing I just realized. Dancer, yeah. listen to this interesting thing I just realized. I just realized we drew all our own conclusions off of that picture of her bleached yeah. out. Without even doing the homework. And No, but not only that. 
Then we go see the video and she cussed us out for it. Yo, she's smart. Think about it. You think me? People saw it and assumed whatever the fuck they wanted and thought whatever the fuck they wanted and started posting whatever the fuck they wanted. Then we got the song and she cussed your ass out for being so fucked up. Yeah, black hypocrisy. Feel me? And that includes myself too, because what did I tell you when I first saw the picture? What I thought it was some of the shit. I deserve it. The fuck she gave me. That is true. I agree. Did you think she was prettier than the black girl? Hell no. What do you mean? What do you mean? Pretty, uh, better white, or I'm sorry, light. That's what you mean. No, or, I like spice as she is. Spice is gorgeous. White. Spice is spice has the same features as you though. She has a round face. So in a look great, bright. Spice is gorgeous as she is to me. Dog. <laughs> and yo, Girls is they say light is but who says that? Do I guys think that? It. No, but I can't. I it's not that, that that we say it. We show this shit. Yeah, I can honestly say, even from back in middle school, when I had my slew of girls that I like, you know, like you really old enough to say, I want to date her. I want to ask her, do you want to go with me? Yeah, we used to do that back in the day. Yeah. yeah. So when you get that energy, I had at least uh six, seven light brights. And this one girl that was dark that I thought was beautiful. But the other ones, they was fucking gorgeous, pretty, out of my league. That's how I felt. Believe it or not, my entire life is full of dark-skinned women. First off, my attraction to women, and I told you the story already. Well, remember I said mine is full of dark women that I've dated, but at that time, I was looking at the light bright. Well, let me, no, nah, not even, not me. Let me tell you how it worked out for me. It so turned out, when I was a little, little kid, and I was in Jamaica... I had this aunt I had a crush on. And I'm talking about I'm like one and two years old. Okay. But I just had a crush on my aunt. She's still alive and everything now too. I, I recently told her this a few years ago. I told her that she laughed her ass off. So when I was a little boy, I had a crush on her. So she was a she was she was one of them girls in the seventies that wore the lace around her head and shit. Okay. She had a round face like these, plump, so not was, fat, she, just plump. She's sexy to you. And she set the trend for me. <laughs> Dig me fat booty, all of that. Real rap. That's how my aunt was. And she set the trend in my brain since that small. And my entire life, I chased those women. My entire life. It's reflecting the kids' moms. Okay, my entire life, that, right up until now. That you said that. You put that out there. I'm going to put something out there about me. I set um, that. I don't want to say a name, but I did set one of my aunts as my template. I mean, not like, if she not look like she, I mean, I really deal with her. But that's like, you know... Ray Ray with her. Just I don't I didn't really want to take her serious because she wasn't pretty to me. You know what I mean? If they didn't have that look, that was my style. Mm. Because she was so warm, so gentle, so nice and loving. I feel like that's the type of female I want to look for. Okay. You know what I mean? I didn't know you can find it in different looks at them times. Now don't get me wrong, that's hot that you said all of that and all, but with my aunt with that that was purely sexual for me. <laughs> when I was a young boy, I just thought she was just Real rap. Listen, my mom, my mother, my mother runs a joke about my aunt Faye and me when I was that little. She said every time Aunt Faye come around, they have to change his boy diaper, his penis stand up like this. My mom runs a joke about that to this day. Seriously, serious shit. I've been a fucker from day one, man. Like I came out with a hard on, dog. I, I, I need to clear show at the Steph video show. <laughs> real rap. This, this, else. this is part of my history. This is real history about me. Like this is real shit. If my mom was here, that she would bust out laughing and she would say, "It's true. It's true." This is a this is a true story. Yeah, I deal with this, bro. This is a true story. Yo, R sexual though. Real rap. I don't know yeah. what it was, man. I just thought my aunt was I, hot. I can honestly say you're a kid. You really. You could I didn't know. Yeah, you. And I, I'm real rap. I'm like yeah. one and two, three. I left Jamaica when I was like four well, years no old. Fuck, though, but when I, you realize that you're a baby and you really can't control your emotions, right? Your feelings. I get it. Right. You know what I mean. And and that was my favorite aunt until that day. That's my one of my favorite aunts. You know what I'm saying? Real rap. You still think you still think that you want to smash? <laughs> no, 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 nothing like that. We grown big and all that now, but real rap because I, I can even remember having a crush on her when I was little. I remember it. You know what I mean? And I know for me, she set the template on what women should look like for me. Yeah. She that, set that, that for me. She set the template on the, for the rest of my life. I chased women father, as. He put the template for the big woman then, the big girl then. Because him and my mom wasn't together. So when he would pick me up, most of the women he go see was big girls then. Mm. So to me, if you wasn't a big girl, you wasn't a woman. Yeah. You were still a little girl child. You know what kind of girls my father liked? When my father and mother separated, my father always dated brainy girls. They always brainy. did. Yeah, brainy. Oh, like I'm talking about, it. like, 
one woman he dated was a real estate agent and a and a real real estate agent. Like she got money, got money. Okay. Another one was like a head chef. Oh shit. Yeah, like he bra- he dated oh, brainy women. Yeah, when my my dad and my mom separated, my dad he didn't do no Spanish women, no white women, but he dated brainy brown skin women. Real rap. Right. <laughs> brainy. Br- that real rap. Right. Like only the smart girls, right? Yeah, when you see them. You could tell these not no weed smoking girls. These not no drinking oh, women. They not okay. nothing like that. And my father didn't smoke or nothing like that either. But you could just tell these women they were just not those type of women at all. How you say screech? Yeah, they, they not cussing. Oh, sophistication. Yeah, like, like real rap. That's the type of my father. Yeah, when when my mom and them separated, that's who my father. At least that's who I saw. At least what and my father was that type of guy too. Like he might do something, but not bring them home. But the ones that would come home that I would see would probably he's like that. My dad, my dad was good like that. Comment please, anybody um out there having a uh, how you say <laughs> affatuation with the aunt? <laughs> 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 and the template you have to deal with. You know Shit, I mean? we it, got here because we were talking about spice. Is uh, all the people listening at the Seth's video show and the Naughty Nuclear show? Um, yes, we're taping two shows at once. At it's once live tonight. So I mean, comment, chime in, do your thing. But uh, yeah, we, we was fooled by the picture of Spice. You know what I mean? Shout out to Berg, shout out to Kid Icarus. You know what I mean? And let me let me tell you about that fucking Spice, Naughty. Oh shit. I'm gonna tell nah, fuck it. I'm gonna tell the whole story too. Really? Cause yeah, we on the show. Fuck it. This is Seth's video show. Listen to this story. So w- when Spice came to town, I got the job to do the video for Spice, right? Mm-hmm. So before I left, my girl says to me, "Now Spice like to dance with the cameraman. I don't want to hear." He was dancing with Spice. Yes. So, so I go. You know what? She's a dancer. So I said, if she's saying that, that means Spice could flop me, and I don't want that on me. <laughs> so I made sure to stay in the audience. So I'm down in the audience, and um, she got a couple picture men up there and shit. So she says now, Uno Wama Dance with first, Uno Wama Dance with. And I hear a crowd of women from somewhere go, Sess videos. And I wasn't even on the fucking stage. So I looked around like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And somebody bumped me. I said, Sess, you're not going up there. You're not going up there. I was like, no. <laughs> no. Nah. Oh, I'll be telling you, be Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. Yo, you yeah, hear these people, they're my it. Yes, I listen, let me tell you something. Spice is I see I can flop sexy. You, Yo, you you said videos. Shit. I'll, I'll see I can flop you. Listen. Spice so, is sexy as shit. Are you my brother? She can't flop you. I didn't want to go up there and have no adverse reactions physically or nothing <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> I didn't, I'm keeping it 100, man. I just figured <laughs> I'm not going to take the chance to put myself in a precarious situation. You understand where I'm coming from, Naughty? Yo, me, you would have do it, you know? I know you would have. But Naughty, and I'm glad my boy Remy's went up there and did the damn thing. A Remy do? What? I got it on video. I'm going to show you. the. In fact, I'm going to play the video. While we talking, I'm going to play that video from that night. I'm going to play the video. Was, um, when, when she broke up Super Block. Nah, man. My Super boy, peak, my boy Remy's, Remy's went up there and, yo, Remy's did the damn thing. Make Spice said, whoa, whoa, whoa. I said, damn right, Remy's. Big up, Remy. Yeah, my boy Remy's. Remy. Not, not Remy. Not Remy. Remy's. Oh, Remy's. Yeah, my boy Remy's. Oh, my boy Remy's did the damn thing, yo. Oh, my bad. I'm op- I'm, y'all going to see the video while we're talking. <laughs> So, yeah, so I say all of that to say, man, Spice is sexy as hell. If y'all didn't know, it's not video shit. She walked by, and when she was going through the opening, I had to slide bottom. Um, My hip, the side of my hip, bumped the side of her hip. And my hip told me that she was very soft. You understand me? There wasn't no padding in there, yo. She she had on some skin tights. Listen, she had on some skin tights. Her makeup, she sweat a little bit in her makeup, and she still looked good. Okay? <laughs> her hair smelled good. Dig me? And I've, I've done a few things, man, and I got to meet a couple of stars and actresses and stuff, uh-huh. and they don't always represent that well, man. You would like to think, but sometimes oh. they had a, some, I guess they had a hair in too long, so it gets a little funny smell. I've encountered that. I don't want to say what professional person out there in the biz I've oh, encountered. Yeah. Them and, all day. Them all yeah. Day. So it, it was nice to see that. And when she sat down, I like how she handled us. She didn't never get rude. Her peoples were never rude. She never got rude. She knew oh, we were going to do our little thing. She just turned her back to us. Yeah, she and, didn't want to mix up with the fuckers. No, 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 no. When she sat down, she took a minute to herself first. She turned her back to us, the cameraman. 
So if you're a good cameraman, you know, wait, give her a minute. Because everything is facing us. So if she sit down with her back to us, just give her a minute. Let her get her water in. Let her wipe the sweat off herself. Let her prepare herself. You know what I'm saying? Then she turned around slowly, and then she gave us all that we needed. I turned on my camera. We got all the pictures without any pause, without anything. No rush, no nothing. She, she went all the way through, and everybody got a picture. Everybody. Yo, Spice, Yo, she. I liked how she handled herself, man. And she came without her dances and shit and killed it. Big up killed spike. it, yo. She Big killed it. Spike. She killed it. The black one day. Not yeah. The, not the light bright one day. I joke, man. I joke. <laughs> one, of, one of the better shows, man. One of the better shows I've seen here in Philly. And Spice did the damn thing. You know what I'm saying? And I like when Lady Saw comes to Philly. Because Lady Saw yo, does the damn Lady thing. Lady Saw kill when she reads. Lady Saw went to cuss me out the last time she was here, too, though, man. I stepped up on the stage, but it was too many picture men on the stage. And she turned and looked at me. And she's, she's like, she said, yo, where are you? <laughs> and I said, oh, this she had a smile. And I see she backed down. I gave her a face like, no, please don't do it. And I think she read my face and backed down like, he don't mean no harm. You know what I'm saying? I was holding the camera and shit. Yeah, my bad. I, I'm, a, I'm a live thief by accident, though. Respect to everybody watching. I mean, I'm sorry, listening. <laughs> and people tuning in and listening still? Yeah, so much near me. Can't near me. That's All good, right, man. That's good. Something. That's All good. Right. That shows that there's a direct market for that, man, because people think that people don't Shout listen to, to shit. People listen to that shit. I see you, uh, Mr. Nisha. Mirror mug of my youth. Bless up, bless up. Mr. Pride, big up. All right, all right. Yeah, we got a little something going there. All right, now, since uh, Dance has stepped off for a minute, I got a topic. Let's just dive into this for a minute yeah, see if we can buy a little time. Um, so, I've been revamping my show, so I've been making lists and shits, motherfuckers. So, I got a list. Um, this is a talking point. How about this? And please come at me about it. Come at me about it. Let me speak my piece. Yeah, because I'm going to read every comment I see. Yeah, please do, too. Let me speak my piece. I don't think women belong in action movies. Women don't belong in action movies. Why so, my brother? Okay? Women don't belong in action movies. You must know this. A action movies with women in it is not believable to me. Let, me. let me explain what I'm saying. Now, action movies on the whole, they're already asking you to hold off in a certain amount of belief with the men. Ain't no car just flipping over 50 times. Mm -hmm. They don't blow up when you shoot them in the gas tank. You dig me? Mm -hmm. You know, the fight scene, you know, it's choreographed. People don't really fight like that. and You know, you know what I'm saying? Right. So they're already asking us to suspend belief with just the guys already. Now with the females, they're asking mm -hmm. you to suspend so much more belief, in my opinion. Let me explain. Did you see um, Colombiana? I love that movie. Now, she looked good in it. This is it's the same chick that plays um on the Avengers now. The, the chick that plays the green chick on the Avengers, that's her. You ain't know that it's the same chick. Green chick. Is yeah. Blue? The, no, she's green. On 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 not Avengers, not Avengers. On um Galaxy something. Guardian of the Galaxies. Yeah. The green What's her name? Look it up on the line real fast, man. We got to get our facts right. Just in case they listen to the show, I want to give her a shout out because she's a good actress and everything too. I forget her name. Um, I guess you could look for Avengers first or Colombiana because she's gonna be the star of Colombiana, so she'll come right up. But um, I forget her name. But damn it, Nadia, you made me forget the fuck I was saying. Oh yeah, you know, and I remember now. Yeah, now she looked good in the role. The swimming under the glass with the shark under her and all that shit. It was sexy. I get it. I get it. I get what you were selling me. But I didn't appreciate when they got her busting all these big guns and fighting these guys. Now, I took martial arts, and you can be very effective in martial arts. When you learn to punch, a punch will be a solid punch, and you're going to put on a certain weight and all of that to help with those things too, though. You understand what I'm saying? Right. But all the stuff that they be having women doing in these movies, I'm just not buying it. But listen to my bias with that same Zoe thing, Zoe though. Caladina. Zoe Caladani, whatever. Zowie. Zoe. What is it? Yeah, Zoe Caldana. Well, her. That She's hot. Yeah. They mean, yeah, but to me, like, don't get me wrong. If you got a chick that's shaped like some of these female boxers, oh, yeah. She going to give a little work. But Beyonce? Beyonce fighting? You don't remember the movie with Beyonce fighting off the dudes trying to come in her house? Fuck no. Because oh. I never watched no fuckery, so. Man, listen, man. 
I could I couldn't believe nothing like that. That's I, a, but that's what I'm saying. Fighting some dudes. That's what man. I'm saying. It, it, to me, women don't belong in action movies. Those movies aren't certain believable. Ones you can. Certain ones, yeah, I will say certain ones. Now some actresses could do it though. The fucking I, I ain't gonna say actress. That chick that played tennis, the um the sister. She can fight us stuff. You see her biceps? <laughs> you talking about Serena Williams? Yes. Yeah, Leave my girl alone, man. I love around. Serena, man. She's sexy as hell to me. I like powerful women. But you tell me, say she not look like she can't fuck somebody up. Yeah, she do. She likes she'll fuck a bitch up though. She, well, for real. She look muscular as fuck. I would believe she fighting. Now, some some actresses could could pull it off though. To me, some actresses could pull it off. I'm going to give you an example of an actress. They give them superpowers maybe, but like regular fighting? No, not even that. I'm going to give you an example of an actress that I always like to see in roles like that. Somebody say, I totally disagree with you. Thank you. I'm going to tell you who I always like to see in um, strong fighting roles like this. I can't remember this lady's name. She was in Starship Troopers. She was in... Um, she was Don't in, talk um, about Beyonce. It's, oh, it's, it's, a, it's a Puerto Rican-looking lady. Um... What else she in? And she always in movies where she busts big guns and shit too. She got a car. Yeah. And she was in she was in um she was in Avatar. She was in Avatar. Oh, the tall one. The no, the one that flew the thing in the very end. She was the one that was flying, piloting the thing for them. Yeah. And I think she dies too. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. She she always seems authentic to me in action movies. Something about her seems real. It seems hood. You know who else pulls it off for me? For me, um, the chick from The Walking Dead that plays Maggie. Maggie God, pulls yeah. it off. Maggie's in a, a movie right now where she busts guns. Who can fight? Who your chat ball can fight? Maggie like, pulls Beyonce? it off. I lie. I'm not buying Beyonce. I'm not buying the chick that played Colombiana. I'm not buying it. Yo, I can believe Colombiana. I, I don't. I'm not. Because they kill off shit parents, man. Like, she just fucking went banana. You know who was even more badass? Even though they gave her powers? The little girl in the Lo- in the Logan movie, X twenty three, she was bad was, fucking no, ass, I, yo. That was bullshit, dog. Now, that was bullshit. A little ass kid with fucking claws and, and shit. And he believed that more. Ross Clark. But it yeah. worked. They gave her special powers, to- <laughs> and it worked for her. She killed. She she achieved that role though. She killed that role. She made it authentic to me. Does all these women have special powers? What? Yeah. Yeah. Well. Now, that's what I was saying. Wonder Woman, I couldn't take that one on. There's no Avengers. I could not take that one. Yeah. I watch it, but it's like, come on, man. Like, really? Fucking. Yeah. The yeah, I mean, I call no, it back. I'm going to get you. You can't still come? Yeah, the new one. The, um, the, no, what is it called? Super. All right, cool. Infinity. Cool. All right. Um, Marvel. Marvel. Yeah, the new With movie. Superman and, and, and the black guy, a robot now, and. We're, we're, we're Bumble Cloud. It just come out. Yeah, ain't that the Avengers Infinity? No. It did the one before that. Superhero. Okay. Yeah, y'all, I was on the phone a quick second. What happened here, man? The movie, the superhero movie with Wonder Woman, Batman, um, Flash. Justice League? Justice League, that's all. Yeah. That one, that Wonder Woman, I can't take. Even as a kid, I couldn't take Wonder Woman, like, For real? seriously. You don't like Wonder Woman, nigga? No, I like she, but it's just like unbelievable. Like. No, anybody that don't like Wonder Woman don't love America, nigga. No, listen. You, you don't like Wonder love. Woman, nigga. You got- what you got against Wonder Woman, nigga? This is the same. Saying though, do what you got against Wonder Woman, nigga. Yo, we never seen that nothing against Wonder Woman. Nigga. Wonder Woman's the shit. Did you see how she blocked them? But oh, Deej, am I lying? What did I say that's when what I'm talking about. when Wonder Woman was on? Didn't I say this is my what favorite scene? Bracelet, your mind. But she's an Amazon dog. <laughs> She's an Amazon. If you uh, Amazon. if you giving them if you giving a woman superpowers and certain and shit a, and stuff, a, some I'm of that a, works. Uh, Filipino, do that. That don't give me superpowers. Huh? I'm a Filipino. <laughs> Cause she an Amazon. Well, I mean, what's that supposed to be? Cause where she from? She got superpowers. Yeah. I she's, want superpowers. She's basically Wonder Woman is basically a female Superman, but she works. Usually, when they do a female version of something, it be cheesy. Yo. Speaking of Superman, as a kid, that shit scared me, man. Superman scared you? Yeah. A flying white man, that scared me as a kid. I ain't gonna lie. (laughs) It's funny, but... I get it. I get you. White man that can fly and punch through walls and shit, see through everything, see... Yo! I was 
like, yo, and then it's more of them, especially on part three, where the other ones came from the next planet. Like, boom, boom, cloud. When they gonna make us up, man? That was fucking me up. I ain't gonna lie. As a I kid, fuck me up. I feel you. Speaking well, of that, like, remember how we were saying how um how our people, speaking of black people, see it different? That white people see shit different? Yeah. Like, I was, they, the stereotypes. I grew up thinking all white people look at corny, dumb ass shit. All of them motherfuckers. Every last one of them lived like the little house with a Perry life. That's what I used to think. Until I ran into Kensington. No disrespect to Kensington. Respect. I love my city, but that shit showed me a whole nother side of white people. Well. Hmm. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. They live like us almost. My experience with white people was kind of different coming up, man. In my house, my father straight told me, I hear all this white people this hold it down, white people that, but fuck that. To me, if you don't succeed, it's on you. Because there's black people that succeed and what they're doing that you're not doing. Try all. And mm-hmm. that's really, that's the way I came up. So I didn't, I, I just didn't come up in the house with that. Anything that I developed with that white people kind of shit, I developed it on my own with some of my own experiences. That that me rather to say like but I didn't come up with any. My, yeah, my parents. I just always that. said if they if anybody can do it to me, it wasn't a color thing. It was like, well, if that's what I want to do, I gotta see what how they did it and then find out how I can do it. I think what it was, you see, my parents, my parents came from the hard, some of the two hardest parts in Jamaica, two of the hardest parts in Jamaica mm-hmm. in the '60s. You understand? So real shit was going on where they when they. You know, where they street, grew up street. at. So I think with them, they don't want, they never wanted me to have a victim mentality. Mm. And my parents told me that I was coming up. You're never a victim. If you fail, you failed. Right. You understand me? And it's always going to be obstacles. I bring that into my everyday now. When I look at certain things, man, I don't, I, I don't make excuses for myself. Right. I try, I, at least I try my best some, not to make excuses have for more myself. obstacles than others. Yeah, if I, if I'm not doing it, I just it I didn't do it. I fucked it up. Easy. I didn't do it. If if people remember that, you can get through life a little easier. Mm. I mean, but just don't 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 lean on it, knowing that this shit, you know what I mean, gonna be easy and give the fuck up. You gotta fight. Is it for what you want? Isn't it? I went a little off topic here. What I was talking about though. Ha <laughs> ha, did. Um, some actresses can do. I said that some actresses can do action movies. Um. Women using swords and guns, though, are more convincing to me. You know why? Guns, yeah. So, you know, or swords, yeah. Yeah, you know why? Off, I can believe. It's a direct extension of kinetic force with a sword. And a gun, it don't matter who's holding that. You follow me? You shoot somebody with a gun. True that, true that. You dig me? <laughs> that is what it is. Yeah. Dig me? Right up until you get into the big calibers. You know what I'm saying? So, the guns and the swords works for me with women in movies. But it depends on the women. I hate to see when they had these little skinny women with these big guns. It's just movie shit when you see that. Because if people know what it takes to, to squeeze a desert eagle, only certain size men bust those guns. How about that? Yeah. Yeah, it's the fucking truth. You said certain size? When, yo, when you get into shooting, like people that go to shooting range, even sh- 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 just shit like that, soldiers and stuff, mm-hmm. those big caliber guns, desert eagles and stuff, they're usually bust by professionals that, that are of a certain weight. Look it up and see if I'm lying, dog. So you're saying that... A lot of that you shit you see on TV, I'm talking about a, like a handgun like the Desert Eagle. Yeah. Do you know what it takes to bust that, dog? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Something yeah. like that can fuck you up, yo. Yeah. That shit can fuck you range, up. They was real fucking new until they, felt, they realized I knew what I was doing. That shit, that shit can fuck you up. You know what I'm saying? No, it's shit, dog. So it's usually, it's usually bust by people that can withstand that kind of, you know what I mean? Bigger dudes. Dudes with bigger risks. Big, bigger hands. Bigger bodies. Yeah, they get the shotguns. And the yeah, those things make sense on them. Cars and all them thing there. It looks cool on TV and in movies, man, but using that shit takes a certain Yo, amount of force, story. dog. I tried to shoot a shotgun. I think I told this story on one of the shows before. And because I seen this dude that was skinnier than me. He was like fucking at least about 62, 64 years old. Skinny motherfucker drink. Uh, white Irish rolls every morning. Fucking fifths. Him and his boys on the corner. Yo, they didn't think it was in the yard. He said, boom, boom. I was like, yo, man, could I do that? Fuck that. If he can do it, I can do it. Man, I grabbed that shit. 
under the motherfucking gate of the almost in the neck yard. I have scrapes all on my, my fucking arm and everything. I've never done any Drop big, that shit. I've never done any big guns. I used to go to the range with some of my friends. And um, I, I mean, had a friend. I was friend, only 16 then, but. I had a friend that had a, he built, he had, he, he, was, he shot in his basement. Without going into details, he used to shoot in his basement. Mm-hmm. Feel me? Well, those was like 380s. And uh, the biggest was probably a 45. Mm. 45 nines. I've, I've squeezed a 45 and 9, a 380. And this this thing called a Sigma something, this Sigma something. I'm not a gun connoisseur. It's a Sigma something. But all this, all this stuff I've done is handguns. <laughs> Everything, anything I've ever shot has always been handguns. I've never d- done any big artillery or anything like that. Mm. I've seen them, but I've never had the opportunity to use them. Oh, uh, yeah. Most handguns for me except that shotgun. Um, I had a fucking Uzi pulled on me. Over, I over that shit was real though. Over sexualization kills action flicks. Over sexualization kills action flicks. For example, again, Colombiana. Too That's much sex scene. Too much sexiness. It's just too much sexiness. Understand? It's just, it was just too much sexiness. Is there really a sexy ass hit woman or soldier or police officer running around looking what? anything like that, doing anything like that? That's a fantasy. Yeah, I know, but it was it. Just, it just asked me to suspend it's too like much this one. believe, but these days it probably is. These days, because of those movies and and shows we watch, I bet you it's one of them sexy ass hit women out there. If if just think, if a man can dress up in a suit and kill, a lady can dress up in a nice dress and kill. Yeah, but I mean, makeup, nodding, all that. It, it's it's already rare. The female assassins is already rare, right? Mm, I don't know now. No, I would I would guess female assassins is probably pretty rare. In twenty eighteen I would I don't I don't I can't say they are. Well, I think over sexualization, when they show too much booty, too much titties, too much whatever is going on and she's supposed to be thugged out gangster, it's too much. I what movie was I watching and they found a way it was a scientific thing with a machine and she had to connect with a machine, right? Oh, respect Tara. And they found a way to get this woman, although it was a great sci-fi she's, movie, they got this woman down to her underwear. You dig me? And it was sexy and all of that, but I was watching and thinking to myself, did I really need to see that? You mean she couldn't interface with the machine by just laying down in the machine? Said, she yeah. had to take off all of her clothes? Wait, so you said you were, hold up. What, <laughs> so Tyra, you, t- uh, shout out to Tyra Real, shout out to uh, Linda. Count Gek, shout out to New New Shiny, shout out to all the Facebook listeners. But uh, oh, Lee Majors in the building, respect. Okay, Blue, respect Tammy, G in the building. All right, he was saying like, so Tyra, you said you could be a, a sexy hit woman. That's what you're saying. You you like, that's what I'm saying. 2018, most of these women are on that shit. A I sexy, bust my gun. A sexy hit she woman. Just said, she said she will bust her gun. Who said and that? I have a nice gun. <laughs> Who said and that? I know how to use it. Very powerful gun. Oh, and I want one. Who said that? Uh, a listener named Tyra. All right, Tyra. Well, the point is you're not. You're not a sexy hit lady. <laughs> That's the whole damn thing about it. Though. You're not. You're not a sexy hit lady. And so you you still don't believe? You still think they real? In yeah. 2018. I think I think they're rare. Sure. Yo, I think they're rare. I know a whole heap of women that hold that own guns that go to the range. I know women that go to the range shit. too. They I have I have that shit. I happen Amazing. to know a woman. She's so shy. I wouldn't even say her name because she's just shy. She would be like, "Oh my God, you said my name on the shout on me." Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But she's really sexy, really shapely. She's got one son. She's not a freakazoid or not. She's very pretty. Brass, and she, she, we, she used to go to the range in the gun show with us, and she purchased her first gun on one of the gun shows with us. And she knows how to use her gun. But she's the point, again, I'm making is she's not a hit man, a hit woman. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so you say not a hit woman, but you do agree that they will bust their gun. Yeah, there's women out there that will bust their guns. Okay, because she just said, I go to the range every other weekend. I want to see video. I think that's sexy. Shit, I shut out the window. My baby father asked. <laughs> See, and, Why this? and therein lies the problem. She said, excuse me, my boo. I will always be sexy. And therein lies the problem. She shot out the window of what? 
I guess his baby father, her baby father car. That's not the good. house. That's not good. That's not <laughs> She's good. She's a shatter. That's not good. Sorry, that shatter. That's not good. <laughs> what if what if your friend is dating a guy? I see you're a shooter. Most guards aren't shooters. So what if your friend was dating a guy that he's mad at her and he shoots out her front window? Y'all would hate that nigga. That's not good. Come on, that's not good. That's yeah, not good. She said, I oh God. Now we got new new shoddy chopping in. I'll blow a nigga head off. Yo, you're too violent, you know. You're this too is, violent. This is all the stuff y'all see on TV. <laughs> I, I I believe the Tara shit. I don't believe whoever came in there, I don't believe you. That's that new new shiny. I don't believe you, Nunu. They you don't ha- you don't have a name like Nunu on bus guns. <laughs> 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 you can't have a name like Nunu and chat about your bus guns. Yeah, real rap. Can you imagine Nunu talking shit? Hey, motherfucker, I'm going back. No, Nunu. No, Nunu. No, Nunu. Nunu, no. No, Nunu. No, Nunu. No, Nunu, no. no, no, no. no, no, no. Yo. And you know, that brings me to my next point, though. Women using profanity. It depends on which woman using it. Yes, that's true, but I just and don't like it. Using it. I just don't like it on females. I think females are more cunning and they can say more effective things. For profanity is really for people that don't got more words to use. Honestly. So, so you telling me, all right, all right, you like it when she say, "Come here, you motherfucker, come do this and rah rah rah, you son of a bitch." No, nah, I prefer a In woman. In a sexual way. That's no. Nah, I prefer a woman that's a bit more coy. Huh? Explain, like, brother. I prefer a woman. What? Let me see. I'm trying to think of a situation. Yo, my dude said coy. Have you ever heard Eartha Spit? Er, er, Eartha Spit. Right. Eartha Kit talk? Eartha Spit. Yeah, man. Eartha Kit. The hugs is the rolling of the shit. Do you hear the way she lays out what she's telling you to do? Yeah, it is kind of sexy. That's what I like. Yeah. I feel <laughs> like a vagina, in, a vagina requires a certain delivery at all times. That's my opinion. When you have a vagina, it should be presented a certain way all the time. And I think that's just one of those things that come with women. Profanity should just belong to men. That's just my opinion. There are women that cuss. I wouldn't tell you all shut the hell up. You shouldn't be. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> that's my personal opinion, that's what though. I got out of it, so I'm glad you had said that. Nah, my personal opinion, though, if I could have it my <laughs> way, profanity would just be a guy thing. It fits guys better. You dig me? But women should just be cunning with what they're saying. That's not going to happen because the women, they want the power, and the power is in the cursing. The power, cursing, Tell that's, me that's a whole other power. show topic, dog. Cursing is power, dog. That's a whole other show Foul topic. language is power. That's a whole other show topic. Because <laughs> I feel like this. I feel like this. Why is it when women talk about power, a lot of women that talk about power, when they do power, they act like a man. Is that power or is that acting like a man? But there are mm. some women that are powerful women that retain mm. their femininity. For example, Oprah. Oprah doesn't present herself as a man, but she's a very f- powerful um, woman. Yeah. So I'm why is it that so that many other women lose their feminist. they lose their femininity in that sense? Like I could see Oprah somewhere, and I think Oprah's sexy. I could see Oprah somewhere, she and if she was single and I was single, I could see me trying to get at Oprah like, "Hey, Oprah, I'm saying you like young guys, you know what I'm saying?" Oprah wouldn't intimidate me. Hell no. But I, then I've been said that. there's a lot of other powerful women, though, that they carry themselves like men. All right, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. Nicki Minaj. She, influential, she, powerful woman. She acts like a guy. True. I can agree with that. She acts like a guy. Oh, time to shut up. But I'm going to use somebody, and this is going to be controversial. They act like a guy, but still retain their femininity. The same bitch that she was fighting with. Um, excuse me, not no bitch, because don't send no niggas at me. You said it already. No, nah, they'll send niggas after you. She was fighting. I ain't no bitch. I ain't no bitch. Oh, you talking about Cardi? Cardi B. Oh, she ain't no bitch. You can't Cardi, say no. I'm Cardi, joking. Y'all joking. I love Cardi. Listen, <laughs> I, I like Cardi. I like. Listen, when my girl was watching the show and she was on the show, yeah, I love she's Cardi. the only other person on the show. I'm like, nah, I'm feeling her. I like Cardi. You know why? I like how Cardi presented herself. She still keeps herself. She's got a hood girl thing to her, but it doesn't come off like a guy. But I can she agree can, with but you. she can present herself in that vein, though. Yo, I can agree with you. You understand? True. When she does her music, 
Like, for example, you ever notice how Lauren Hill was a rapper? Lauren Hill rap gave us hot verses, so but Lauren Hill didn't come off sounding like a guy like ever. Yeah. None of Lauren Hill's flows come off sounding like a guy. She comes off like a female that could flow. I, 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 yeah, yeah. But at first, no, no. At first, I did say she was kind of dudeish. Who? I did say that Lauren Hill in the beginning. You thought so? I did in the beginning. Until I, I got to so. see her do more work, and I said, oh, okay, maybe I was wrong. But my first impression was, like, she nice she lady, but is I see dudeish in that. Man, I didn't. My first impression. Like, I like Rod Digger, but Rod Digger's whole style is like a dude style, man. To me, everything about Rod Digger, if you know who that is, y'all remember her, Rod Digger. Everything to me is like a, a dude style with her. But anyway, we just went way, way off. Yeah, way But it's off. good show, though. I love to talk. And I mean, um, women's fist fighting in a movie. Unless they're fighting other women, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Yeah, that you said you you, you that's go with that shit. You don't you don't like the women in the uh, action movie shit, and they usually fighting men. Yeah, I I don't buy it. You gonna run up on some two hundred and ten pound dude, muscled up with a bald head, that he been killing niggas for the last ten years, but you just got trained the last two years now, and you <laughs> badass, and you came because they killed your boyfriend or whatever the fuck. <laughs> and now you're kicking everybody's ass because your heart is broken. And you're you going to punch this guy and break his this and twist his that. You ever watch these movies? The woman twisting the guys all up. Nah, if you got a sword or you got a gun, okay, I'll work with you. But the minute you she, he disarms you or you out of bullet and you walk up on that nigga like you're about to do something. <laughs> yeah, that'd be, the, that'd be the fuckery right there. No, nah, you lose me right there. The minute, the minute she, I've been waiting for this. Like, really, you just going to just kill him. And them 100 motherfuckers just was better than you, trained thousands of years before you. You had, what'd you say, two years? Yeah. Ago? Did you see Kill Bill? I kind of figured that's what you was talking about, too. No, but Kill Bill did it right. Think about it. She never did no hoo hoo with no man, no nothing. She had a sword, and she used guns. I could buy all of that. And she fought a lot of women. I, I could, t you see where I'm coming from now? Yeah. I could totally buy all of that film. Yeah, and all of the women that she fought, fought they were specialists as hitmen. They were all specialists in something. They were yeah, specialists. I was mad she fucked Vivica Fox up. And none of them were specialists that was walking up on dudes fighting them like this. Not one of them. They got that shit on. You feel me? So when you make a movie like that, full of women, I, can, I love Kill Bill. I watch that right now. But I'm not buying a Colombiana, and without trying, you keep hating on Colombiana. I, that, that's the quickest right. thing that came to mind for me right now. That's what I was. You know what I mean, but Colombiana was the shit. Shit, yeah, man, it was not. I love the actress, Yo, but it was not the shit. The it was not the shit. Fuck them niggas up. It was not the shit. Bomb. I didn't like it. I didn't <laughs> like it. It asked me. It. I, I agree with what Peter Griffin said. It insisted on itself. What? It. It. Colombiana. It insisted on itself. I did not enjoy it because it it, it insisted on itself. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I wish y'all could see this in your face. <laughs> Straight up. Yo. And I'm not being sexist oh, either. Shit. I'm not being sexist oh, either. Oh shit! Shout out to Kurt Nuclear. Boom! Shout out to Michelle Cody Gay. Respect. I see y'all. I'm not Facebook being. Listeners. I see y'all. I'm not being sexist either. I'm not being sexist when I say this. Y'all listening out there, know that I'm speaking the truth. It's I something disagree. that you're having in the back of your head, yes, but you're going to you, try and be politically correct so that the ladies will still sexist. be with you. You just said women can't fight in movies. Nicki Minaj act like a dude. That's what I got out of it. And then you just said some old other sexy shit. Mm, mm, mm. You're a sexist, brother. <laughs> Not sexist. Seth's <laughs> video is a sexist. He said, oh, yeah, <coughs> women can't shoot guns. He said, shoot guns, but. I'm not sexist. <coughs> <coughs> women can bust like women can bust guns. <coughs> I'm talking about <coughs> I'm talking about how they exaggerate shit in the movies. Okay, all right, you cleared that up. <coughs> That's what I'm talking about. Because I was gonna put you out there. You no, know, I got say. I got I got police officer friends. One of my son's mom was gonna be a police officer. And she had to practice busting that Glock. So women bust guns. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm talking about is in the movies. 
they I think they forced too much in the movies with the female. They they asked me to withhold too much disbelief. <laughs> I buy a movie when the chick gets fucked up, but she finds a technical way to whip your ass because women are smarter than men. I disagree. I, I like when see like when the killer is coming. I disagree on the grounds that I just disagree. See when the killer is coming. Like I'm gonna tell you what I like. When the killer is coming, say like Michael Myers is coming and he's facing a woman. Oh, those man. are the best he's ones to me. I'm sorry. You know why? You know why Michael Myers something like that is with the best with women Yo, to me. He the fucking worst killer in the history of fucking movies. Hold up. He been we, we trying can... to kill one bitch for forty years. <laughs> so boom, boom, Clyde. Yo, Mike, give it up. <laughs> She not dying, Mike. I hear you. I hear That's you. That's your blood. Pin, you ain't dying. She ain't dying. Pinhead it, gave it up. Get it through your fucking mask. Freddy Krueger picked different people. Ross but Michael Myers been trying to start, find the same chick for 40 years. You're like, right. What the fuck? Even Chucky switched between people. He you gave up. He gave up on Casualties had to die for That's his crazy. sister? That's funny. That's funny. That's really funny. What the fuck, Mike? That's really funny. And what's her name? Christine Jean? What's her name? I don't remember. Where the fuck your sister it's, name it's is? Sister, yeah. I'm rapping for her, too. Yeah, that was yeah, funny. I mean, that was some funny bitch, shit. Bitch, you could have did that one on one 17 movies ago. That's some funny Fuck. shit. <laughs> but how about this though? I tell you what though, women fit perfectly well in martial arts movies to me. Hold up, pause. She gonna say that's the best thing he said. We are smarter than men. But that's true. That's a given. <laughs> Y'all go. Now let me tell you, you just came in. Let me tell you how that came no, to be. No. Let me tell you how no. that came into context, babe. <laughs> It's like this. I was I was already talking about I don't think women belong in action movies and why. But I even wrote that down. I think women are smarter than men, so I like Mr. them in Dice, movies. I see you I you mean, see I like you see like when Michael Myers is chasing a woman or Freddy Krueger's trying to kill the woman and she's the last person to kill. I like them better because women are smart. Y'all can do technical stuff and get the kill. I'll buy that completely. Like he's trying to come down and chop at her, but she saw the knife that he didn't see just about to fall and she's shaking the table and it falls just I can buy that from a woman. From a man, we don't think that way. We're thinking, uh uh. Yeah, we're looking something to beat beat you with. But a woman will see these technical things and go, you know what? Michael's a dumbass man. He's gonna run in this room. Even though he see me jump, he's not gonna think to jump. He's not gonna see this tripwire. I I can buy that. Coming from women with stuff like that, I can buy that. I can buy that. But once you start putting guns in their hands and they swimming on glass with sharks and whatnot, <laughs> you know, you, you turn into women. Look, listen, listen, listen. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I, I can agree with that. Bruce Lee's daughter got a movie out. Oh, come on. Because it's Bruce Lee's serious? daughter. Yes, it's really. It's real talk. Oh. No. Because it's Bruce Lee's daughter, she was trained in, in uh, Jit, Jit Kun, I forgot the name is martial arts. She was trained in some martial arts, so I went to watch it. She goes to this guy running her head through wood and all kinds of other shit oh, and beats him in the end and limps away like this. Is she like 5'3"? Listen, man, I'm not buying it. Like 5'3", 125? Yeah, shit. I'm not buying it. Feel me? Sure. But you see when the Asians do it in the karate movies, I'm going to tell you why I buy it. Oh shit! So I buy it because in martial arts you can learn grappling, and that has nothing to do with strength. That has to do with how, really, like technique, and you can learn pressure points. There's just nothing stopping that. A woman can learn to hit you. If a woman poke you enough in the same, she's gonna get you. So oh, I can completely see a woman fighting martial arts, and she learns how to move around. A big man, we all we can't move certain ways. I can get that because if we grab you, there's something else. But I could completely see a woman biting and she using certain pressure points and weapons and martial arts. I can buy that. A woman that knows martial arts, I'll buy that. Yeah. But once you start putting them into the scenes where they busting two guns and the vampire slayers and all that yeah. shit, no, I, don't, I don't buy it. Well, we just had another option. What? You might could buy. What? Tyra said, or just make them really sick. <laughs> what do you mean make them really sick? I don't Poison understand. they ass. I, I'll buy that. I'll buy those. <laughs> Give him a uh, spaghetti with period blood in it. Anything with the woman <laughs> thinking, I buy it. She know what I'm talking about. And you know what though? <laughs> let me let me remove that from women. Anything with kids doing that same thing, I don't buy it. Uh, when they have kids, teenagers, any any body under maybe 17, busting these big guns and stuff, I don't buy that either. I, I can like never get into that. Like I can train, never get though. into that. 
I can never get into that. Yo, they got little four year olds busting wood, like chopping wood. And yeah, wood but faster than fucking Bruce Lee did when he was thirty years old. Yeah, definitely over there. Hey, yeah. motherfucking kids lifting super weights and shit. Yeah, okay. looking like they fucking twenty muscles in one spot. Like it's crazy. <laughs> now, fucking turbo kids these days, man. Women can carry a superhero movie though. If you're gonna give women special powers and all. And that goes back to I why. I was going to say like the love interest. No, no, no. Special powers. Any kind of special powers. Super strength, flight, speed. Like Captain Marvel coming. That's so going to be badass. Supergirl ass. Supergirl, that's, she's badass. What? Any, yeah, I, I like female characters with life. superpowers. I seen a commercial that say never ever. What, Supergirl? Yeah, Supergirl. Nah, dog. Small wood, all that. Nah, dog. Stuff. You got to watch it. I'm not a regular watcher of Supergirl, but I watched like two or three episodes. It's and a great show. the worst one yet? Fucking charmed. Go suck your mother. Charmed? Yeah, charmed with the three girls, the witches, yeah, and dumbass shit. A little, a little well, I like that show. <laughs> and I could buy the witch thing from, from women because that's still their cunning and that's not so physical. Witch? Thing. Yeah, the witches, when they, how they do what they do, it's not so physical. I'm well, talking about... It was cheesy, though. Like, I could, like in real life, maybe... I it guess, was a little cheesy. The, the, it was a little cheesy. cheesy. It was a little cheesy. It was dumb as shit. It was. It was a little cheesy. Things like that on TV <laughs> tend to have a little cheese to it. <laughs> that shit was dumb, man. It was. It was a little I cheesy. I was mad as shit. I was fucking with a chick that wanted to watch this shit. <laughs> Maybe that's a vendetta I have against this song. The real, I can completely buy women in the badass. Person, person, like, bad, yo, bad. I'm going to show you another one. Remember, um, what's the movie with Chris Tucker and um, the uh, Jackie Chan? The third one that had the Asian girl in it? Yeah. And she knew martial arts. And she also used weapons and guns. Yeah. I bought that. I could buy that character. You could see that somebody highly trained, very focused, and she actually has a size and build that would yeah, make sense for like that. A, almost like a linebacker. Right. She wasn't a little, you know, her whole stance, you could tell like I'm so she mad. did some training. She She's... I'm watching Charm now. <laughs> <laughs> Turn that shit on. <laughs> Damn shade. Real rap. And, yeah, I feel what you're saying. And I buy Queen Latifah in anything. I buy Queen Latifah in anything she does. I buy her in that role. Yeah, she's good. As I think about it, I agree. Queen Latifah can bust big guns, little guns, be feminine, straight, funny, gay. Serious. She went naked. Once I saw that, I was sold. She's one of the best actresses alive right now. Wait. Yeah, you ain't seen all of her <laughs> shit. She went naked. I was sold. And the role she was doing, she was already killing the role. She didn't even need to go naked. She was already killing the role. What is it? No, it, it might be. It might be. It might be. Type in Queen Latifah naked in movie. Or Queen Latifah nude in movie. Type it in the. Well, yeah, you, I guess you can look it up on YouTube. It might come up because it's art. Under that will be art. So put YouTube. A blur on it. I want to see a no, YouTube might not because if you look up childbirth, you see vaginas on YouTube. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got the. Uh, it has to fall uh, under health or art. Let's see. Queen Latifah nipples. I mean, naked. <laughs> Real rap. Now I will say, as impressed as I was with that, it's not something I wanted to see. Not really? Oh, am no. I doing something wrong? Here? No. no. Oh man. No, it was impressive. Uh, as an act, oh, as an actress, it was impressive <laughs> that it left me speechless. Like, oh shit! And then what she was doing called for it and all, and I respected it. But what I'm saying is, Nadi, if you had the choice to see Queen Latifah naked. Or Colombiana naked, who would you want to see naked? Colombiana. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay? That's all I'm getting at. I'm mad that you had to. No, I ain't gonna go there. I ain't gonna go there. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna leave that with a low. I ain't even gonna do that. I'm gonna have to go to Google because they ain't gonna do that no day. Yeah, man, real rap. Hub. <laughs> That's probably going to be the only place you could get that clip. Rascal. There it go right there. That's a clip right there. It's on Pornhub. <laughs> Pornhub is it? No, I don't know nothing about Pornhub. Pornhub is a YouTube. My first time ever going here. Pornhub is a YouTuber what porn. What is this? Your first choice when you say I I'm never even on heard of this site. Pornhub <laughs> is a YouTuber porn, yo. It literally is a YouTuber porn. 
Everywhere else you go, for real, every other site you go to, you'll find links from Pornhub on their sites. Oh my goodness. What the rest? Oh, there it go. Yeah, fucking first. Yeah, I am the worst. Right there. And you have to see the movie that it came from. The movie it came from is awesome. And she kills the role in this movie. You understand me? But it's, you know. Like, it's a whole scene. Right Look, and she goes makeup free and all of that. She kills this role, dog. So she don't have no sex. She just. Yeah, it wasn't a sex scene, but it wasn't. A, this wasn't a sex scene, though. Right. Really? I don't remember. But she was the shit in the movie too, though. You know what I'm saying? And on, and on that note. Um, I'll leave a link where y'all can find a clip so you can check it out if you ain't see that movie. But you just what, what, did, did it have a title? What was the name of the movie? Push back. Betsy. Betsy. The name of the movie was Betsy with Queen Latifah in it. Man, check it out. Check it out. It's a it's a great movie. It was a great movie. Yeah, Bessie. Y'all saying Betsy? Bessie. 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 Twenty fifteen. Bessie. It's a great movie. Oh, she it's a whole lesbian. It's an awesome movie. Rotted. It's an awesome movie. Yeah, oh no, she ride the shit out of Bomb Buckland. That's how you work it, Queen. Yeah. All right, now, oh, <laughs> on that note, I'm going to chime out. Um, this is Seth's videos. Like and subscribe. Oh. Click that like button. You know what I'm saying? That's how you let YouTube know that you like and what you send. And they put it more in the mainstream. Click that um, bell icon. The bell icon allows you to get the latest uploads from me. So you keep up as soon as I upload. Right. And subscribe. You know what I'm saying? You already have a YouTube page right now. Everybody has phones. It's an automatic thing now. If you didn't know, that's the way it is. So subscribe to wherever you listen to this at. It's probably my page, Seth's Videos. Um, if you want to find me, you Google S-E-S-S-V-I-D-E-O-Z. And all kinds of stuff will come up, in particular the YouTube first. But all kinds of things will come up so you see how to find me. Get in contact with me for any show ideas or shows or comments or video filming works. Anything like that. Google Naughty Nuclear, N-O-T-T-I-N-U-C-L-E-A-R. And anyway, this is the Seth's Video Show. Thanks for joining and listening. I love you people out there. And I'm out.